farmland in central Minnesota kept a killer secret for nearly 30 years. But late last week, authorities unearthed Jacob Wetterling's remains, ending a mystery that has long haunted the state. A kidnapper grabbed the 11 year old as he biked home on an October night in 1989. The gunman confessed he drove Wetterling from St. Joseph to Painesville, where he molested the boy and murdered him. For the first time tonight, the farmer of the fields where Jacob was found is speaking out. He showed WC sales Liz Collin how the clues to this case could stay hidden for so long. Liz? Frank, in court yesterday, Danny Heinrich admitted he buried Jacob Wetterling 100 yards from a gravel pit in Painesville, only to return a year later to find the boy's jacket exposed. Heinrich said that's when he moved Jacob across the highway to a farm, burying him near a home, but just out of sight. I mean, there were a lot of tears shed that day by many people. Doug Voss learned the beginning to Jacob Wetterling's story when he was in junior high. The first thing you don't think of is that it, you know, that it could be as close as it was. Never imagining it would end in the fields he's now farming just outside Painesville as a father himself. Just behind these trees is where investigators recovered Jacob's remains last week. On Wednesday, deputies told the Vosses they were there to look for stolen property and asked permission to dig on their land. When there are that many people looking for something, it's either of really high value or it's a missing person. Voss would later learn the Wetterlings were eventually led to the tree line that day. It wasn't until Friday when the Stearns County Sheriff confirmed at the Vosses' kitchen table that it was Jacob they found. It was clear in his face that this was a long journey and um, a lot of effort from a lot of people had gone into this. Voss says the 400 acres of his third generation farm had never been searched before. He took us to another field to show us what his land would have looked like in 1989 before cattle roamed the pasture. There's very little area of the farm that people aren't walking by. But Voss says that tall grass would make it nearly impossible to see anyone coming and going, especially at night. And as the landscape changed, no one would have ever been able to detect anything suspicious. Despite what happened here, Voss hopes people remain focused on the love Jacob had for life, not the farmland where a monster took it away. He'll never be forgotten now, ever. No, there's too much imprinted to forget. Today, the Stearns County Sheriff's Office told us investigators first uncovered Jacob's hockey jacket along with some bones last Wednesday. But crime lab tests came back indicating they were animal bones. So investigators went back to the site on Friday and expanded the search area where that evening Jacob's remains were finally recovered. Frank. Okay, Liz, thank you.